Hello folks, this is Fuzzfinger, and this is Diablo 3, the first episode of our brand new Let's Play series. We're going to create a hardcore hero and see how far we can get. Will we reach level 60? I doubt it, but you never know, stranger things have happened. So we're going to go for Hardcore Wizard, and we're going to call it Fuzzy P. Fuzzy P, I said, not Fuzz P. There we go, look, we're making mistakes already. Yes, I accept the whole permanent death contract. Now... The way we're going to do this is we're not going to be using the auction house. Well, I might sell things on the auction house, but I'm certainly not going to be buying off the auction house, and I'm not going to be trading with other players, which means this is going to be tough. If we make it to hell, and I think it's unlikely that we will, but if we did, then, well, things are probably going to get scary. We're going to have a play around with the monster level. Uh, obviously, the higher the monster power, the higher the level the monster... Not the level, but the higher in difficulty the monsters. So, I'm going to start on MP5. Although, I'm quickly going to be switching back to MP0 after the opening quest. I'm only going for this MP5 in order death. for a quick level boost at the start. Now, that little treasure chest icon you see down there is the anniversary uh, icon. Which we get for uh, logging in during the week of the anniversary. Which is all good. So it's only a small boost to your XP and magic fine. I think about 20 or 25%. It's nothing too exciting. So we're starting with a... Uh, with a wizard. Because... I did a barb on hardcore and died at level 59. Prophecy which was a little bit annoying. But I thought we'd go for the good old range. See if it's back. any easier. Seeing as how we're only going for gear we find... Some of the enemies might go a little bit slow on the old uh, dying time. At least to begin with. For those who have played Diablo for quite a while, you're probably used to just quickly tearing through enemies at the start of the game. Uh, because you have gear from other characters that you give, hellfire rings, gear off the auction house, etc, etc. We're not going to have access to any of that. And because I've stuck it on MP5, we got that first level boost. You'll find Leah at the We've got 150% XP speeding, 150% uh, to our XP amount. Burn those corpses before they rise again. Zakarum has fallen to disgrace. What faith can save us now? So we'll go and speak to Leah, which is the next part of this quest. And then we'll I did. Uh, look at changing the MP back to zero. All I wanted was that one extra level, just to give us a tiny bit of a head start boost, which we now have. In fact, we are close to leveling once again. So I might just uh, get to level two and then restart the game. Six days now. Uncle the dead will oh, thank you. The problem with the magic uh, the monster power system is that it is addictive because you level faster. For many years, villagers but you were really too need to be careful, to you really near do. the ruins of the cursed town Tristram. But as time went Let's by, adventurers arrived to loot the old cathedral, and their business was profitable enough that new Tristram sprang up to accommodate them. We'll take the blade wings. Visit now, they though, look pretty awesome. The town is mostly populated by what can I do to help? I have... Thanks for the well, I... They're attacking the barricade. So we'll kill this batch of enemies and hopefully that will uh, level us up then. Hmm, we can't shoot through Captain Rumford. Move out the way, we I'm trying to kill things here. Grab that health uh, orb. And we've leveled up. So we'll kill these and then we will definitely reset the monster power because... Well, we're actually taking quite a bit of damage, I have to say. Cloth tunic. I, once. Deckard Kane, have spent many years travelling and writing about the strange... Okay. So all we're going to do is uh, change to MP0. And it's not going to be easy even on MP0 because we've got no gear. And no access to gear at the minute. But now he's dead. So it still could be uh, fairly no, interesting no, to watch. Of course, if we did pwn through it all, I'd probably up the monster power level. I want it to be some challenge, even on normal. Although I don't expect it to be at this precise uh, moment in time. Uh, 
So we will do the bonus quest, since it's nowhere uh, near challenging anyway, and it's definitely not out of the way. And you get a nice bit of an XP boost once you complete it. Yes, this is Diablo, so when you kill things, not everything stays dead. Basically then, for this series, we're going for uh, weekly uploads. So every Tuesday, I'm going to be sticking up a new episode. I'm not sure yet on the length of the episodes. We'll see where we get to today and see how that feels. Uh, I'm thinking about 20, maybe 25 minutes. And, oh, I've just realised I haven't given myself the uh, skill we've just learned. We'll do that once we kill these. Uh, I'm thinking about 20, 25 minute episodes. But... What I'll do is I'll just have a look at the analytics on YouTube and see if people are actually watching for that long. If not, and I find that people's attention span tends to be around the 10 minute mark, then we'll have to probably lower the episode length a little bit. But maybe on this series it'll be a bit higher. So we'll have to just see what happens with that. Uh, shot pulls, that's what we want. Got confused with what I was doing then. Now, if I die early on, like before level 10, then I'll probably just restart the character and we'll have another bash at it. If I get quite far into the game, like I'm level 50 or something, then I'll leave it up to you guys if you'll... Uh, well, I'll leave it up to you to decide whether you want me to start again or just call the series there and then. And, of course, it will all depend on how I feel. If I get to, like, Paragon level 70 or something, I probably won't have the heart to start again if I die at that point. Although I doubt very much I'll still be recording then anyway. Because to get to Paragon 70, I would have had to have got to level 60 obviously, and then just got on some mad farming spree. Which would be pretty boring for you guys to watch, I'm sure. While exploring a cave with hopes of finding hidden treasure, although I'm obviously talking well ahead of the game at the minute, I doubt very bodies. much I'll get to Paragon 70. I doubt very much I was I'll get to level 60. Of value. They began to I haven't done it yet. I must tell them of this and new Tristram before it's too late. As I mentioned, level 59 is my highest hardcore hero. I got excited about getting the level 60 achievements, and therefore I died, of course. What I could do with, actually, some treasure goblins. They're guaranteed to drop some blue items. Which I could really use at the minute. A hand axe. Let's see if that's got a DPS increase. Yeah, it has. We'll equip it for now, but it's not a big deal. You might be wondering, if you don't play Diablo much, why I'm caring about upgrading to a hand axe when I'm only casting spells. The basic reasoning is that, as a wizard, all my spells are based on my weapon damage. As you can see, Shock Pulse does 150%. Ray of Frost does 280%. So the higher weapon damage, the more damage your spells do. So weapon is important. And my hand axe that I've just looted does 4.5 damage compared to 3 damage for the wand that was uh, given to us by default. I don't care too much about gold. I have got 300 on thousand of the stuff. That should put an end to the attacks. Which I At collected on my level 59 before he died. Plus I don't need gold that much because I'm not using the auction house, so I'm only going to need it for repairs and for uh, crafting. I probably will be crafting quite a bit. Do we need that? No. Because that's going to be, apart from drops, my only source of oh, gear. Tristram, Diablo himself once walked this place. Right, the wretched mother for the quest we need to do uh, should be around here. There it is. My knowledge increases. And another level. Just make sure there's nothing to do. Nope, sometimes there's a cellar or something you can go into. But we've got Frost over now. Which is nice when we encounter larger groups of enemies. Thank you for your help. But could you not should Come, let us really? Back to the old ruins we go. This time we have Leah with us. Here, let me open the gate. Adria was my mother, but I don't know much about her. She died when I was very young. I was raised by Uncle Deckard. What about your father? I'm told he was a great warrior who was lost when Tristram fell to the demons. So we've got a nice 5.5 DPS going at the moment. 
Not quite as high as uh, my barbarian on softcore. I think he has about 200,000 DPS. People said she was a witch, but I never believed it. And we're certainly going to need to increase it even shortly in order to progress much further because some of the enemies are starting to get a fair bit of health to them. Oh, we got a got a blue item. And let's test out our Frost Nova skill on this group. Wow, that's good. We'll grab that blue item on Here's our way out. Thank you. Aiden came to me last night. I suspected what was lurking within his troubled Let's heart. Let's see, it's a bow, but it could have some decent damage on it. Regardless, wherever yes, he's so 5 headed, he will surely fall in his wake. So 13.06, that the would do nicely. The shadows close in on Tristram once again, but like Aiden, I'll be Right, if all these would like to gather up, please. Oh, we got three. Oh, that's better, we're one-shotting everything now. See, all we need here is a decent weapon. Oh, that's good. That felt good. Me. Uh, Nope. The one we've got is already better, but at least we've got something to disenchant now for our blacksmith. We need to disenchant everything we don't need in order to craft some, uh, hopefully, decent gear. Another unlucky villager. Go on, then we'll kill them. And I could do with those gloves. We're not wearing anything at the moment, so one armor is better than no armor. Especially at this point in the game so where Tristram Cathedral. Uh, you get more benefits and lower points, obviously. So we're on our mission to rescue Kane, who is in the second level of the cathedral. This must be where the star fell. Its crater is tinged with some strange magic. I'm guessing that most people watching this are not really going to care too much about the story. So for most uh, cutscenes and that, I'll probably just skip through some so we can get back to the action. Disease has taken hold in this land, and the carrion bats are near the heart of it. Since returning to Tristram, when I those grotesques explode, surge. you do just want to stand out the, the way because they do a bit of a blast radius, and if you can get other enemies caught in it, that'd be that pretty decent as well because they do take damage. Down. And I'm cursed. Once the captain of King the Oryx army, I left only to honor my land and my king. No man has a greater love for his king than I had for mine, even as I drove my blade through his dark and corrupted heart. So we've got to take a choice here. Which way should we go? It doesn't really matter, even if we go the wrong way. At least we get an experience. Oh wow, lots of enemies. That's what we like. Boing. And watch our XP go up nicely. Need more arcane power. Now, Shock Pulse is what's called a signature spell. Uh, wizards have signature spells and non-signature spells. Signature spells do less damage, but they don't cost any arcane power. So they're a good backup to have. And some of them have some good utility use as well. It was Lazarus. Of that I am certain. He alone had the king's ear and whispered dark and evil magics into it. Oh, wasn't quite out of range there. Like I said, you do not want to get into range Marsh, of that thing, especially on speak against the archbishop. The councillors nodded their empty heads in agreement and sent us off. Here, it looks die. like we might have come the wrong way, but I'm okay with that, as I mentioned. Oh, unless it's down here. level again soon and it's our first champion pack well this is good ah he knocked us back that was nice then we wanted to stay at range oh we get arcane orb as well and i'm not sure if that axe is going to do any better than the awesome boat we've got a whip that does something like 10 dps but let's have a quick look quick gander uh, 13.13 13 to... Yeah, it is. It's better. And... Do we want to use Ray of Frost or Arcane Orb? Let's have a change around. Uh, if you change skills outside of town, then you do get a bit of a cooldown on them. But it's not long. Yeah, I like that. I like that. Arcane Orb. 
We do like that, don't we? Yes, we do. Boing. Have a chandelier for your trouble. Shock pulse I'm not too impressed with. I know it's a signature spell, but I don't like the, the old uh, random nature of where it goes. I like to channel my spells. Right, where are we going? I'm guessing we haven't come too close to our destination because you get a nice big yellow arrow when you do. Do we need any shoes? Yes, we do. No, no, no. Shoes. It's always the exit I'm talking about in the last place you look at it. It has to be. Okay, we'll carry on going down uh, south. Up the stairs, you stupid wizard. So anyway, folks, uh, what do you think of Diablo 3? If you play the game, why don't you let us know what uh, what progress you've made. Do you play hardcore, softcore? What levels do you have? Have you done any Paragon leveling? I'd be interested in finding out what some of my YouTube viewers get up to in their Diablo spare time. You dare attack me? Need more arcane power. My highest Paragon level is a Barbarian at level 35. That's not on soft, uh, on Hardcore, obviously. Boing. Wow, that's... Oh, wow, they're going to pwn everything for us, see? I need Arcane now, power. if I was on Softcore, I probably would be playing on MP5, or maybe even something higher. But it's just not worth the risk at the moment. I want this series to go on for a little bit longer than one episode, if we can. And there we have the exit to Leo Rick's passage. Skip this, skip this, we don't want to see all that. Well, I say we, I mean I. Maybe you do, if you do, I apologise. Right, gather up. Oh, that's nasty. Still waiting. Grab a nice health orb. Frost Nova doesn't actually cost anything to cast, which is useful, but it's not a signature spell. Right, Kane, what have you got to say for yourself? Oh, thank you. you. Yeah, that's it interesting. Right, let's go. That Leah is well. I fear the worst. I learned of this secret passage through old maps I found. We must discuss the fallen. Skip that little cinematic thing and we'll just shard or salvage, as it's called in this game, uh, those two blue items. Uncle, you're all our time. Not. And there we have a quest complete. Well, it's our second quest complete, actually. So we're still alive, which is a good start. Uh, I hope you're going to enjoy this series, folks. Please subscribe to the channel to be kept up to date with future releases. And let us know in the comments what you think. And hit the like button, and if you want to as well, if you really want to support me, you can share this with your friends. So, thank you very much for joining me. I've been your host, Fuzzfinger, and I'll see you for more Diablo 3 next week. Bye for now.